9-11 truth movement is something to be applauded, that the reason that uh, it's so necessary is that there are so many unanswered questions. Those questions are unanswered uh, because this administration won't answer them. I mean, it's that simple, okay? A country that hides something is a country that is uh, afraid of getting caught. We found the identities of four of the 9-11 hijackers prior to 9-11. Where is it? Where's the beef? Where's the substance? Throw them all out, John. These are all the trucks. Spread them out. As hard as this is to believe that two of the alleged terrorists involved in what happened on Tuesday may have attended schools run by the U.S. military, how is it that on four separate occasions on one day that a trillion dollar military and intelligence infrastructure could fail. Nobody in our government at least, and I don't think the prior government that could envision flying airplanes into buildings on such a massive scale. But that turns out not to be true. U.S. military planners did envision and practice those very scenarios. I'd like to ask a question. General Myers, the um, I'm sorry. I, I would ask, please, people in the audience to be quiet if you want to stay here. During the time that the airplane coming in to the Pentagon, uh, there was a young man who would come in and say to the vice president, the, the plane is 50 miles out, the plane is 30 miles out. And when it got down to the plane is 10 miles out, the young man also said to the vice president, do the orders still stand? Five light poles are knocked out of the ground. One reportedly strikes a Washington, D.C. taxi, driven by Lloyd Ingram. I'm very curious, and, and as time goes by, it makes you more curious. I can't drive my car that well, but I can't imagine somebody just climbing behind the wheel of an airplane and doing what they did and doing it so well. Opinions differ at this point. People that believe a 757 hit the Pentagon, and people that don't. Why I'm involved is simply because I want the truth. The firefighters who walked into those buildings that day did so in order to help other people, same as they do every day. They didn't deserve what happened. I want the truth of what actually happened on the day. We came down, it, was, it looked like a bomb went off in the lobby. There was no fire, it just looked like a bomb went off. So I believe the, the bomb hit the lobby first, and a couple of seconds in the first plane hit. It, 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 wasn't, it wasn't from the jet fuel, no way. We had just gotten up, and the next thing I know, uh, it sounded like a missile came across our house. I mean, they, they were going that fast. It's hard for me to believe that they did not know about that aircraft until 10.07. Mar orders his air controllers tell the pilots to intercept Flight 93. Well, me and Mr. Hesch, the Corporation Council, were on the 23rd floor. I told them we got to get, get out of here. Uh, another gentleman and I walked down to the 8th floor where there was an explosion. We started walking down the stairs and into the eighth floor. Big explosion. Blew us back into the eighth floor. Did this control demolition? Shake of 18. Shake of 18. There's no nice school. Remember this! 